Hi everyone, Linda here. It's time for the next Artsy Fartsy card kit at your paper pantry. And this month I was kind of struggling a little bit with what I wanted to do. And I really wanted to do something that had to do with March. Um, but I realized that every March I seem to do the same thing. Last year I did this really cute one with a little mouse. So this year I decided to do something a little bit different. I had this stamp set uh, from Fun Stamper's Journey with these cute little critters on it. And I used my Tim Holtz stamp thing and stamped a whole page of these little guys. And then I took it to my brother's scan and cut and cut out all the little critters and colored them and put them in these little baggies for the kits. But I'm also going to put a set of uncolored ones so that the the recipient or you know can color them the way they want to. So in the kit you're going to get a piece of cardstock that has rainbows on it, um, a little piece of washi tape. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to put that in there, but I'll get that figured out. And um, I was going to put it, well, I am going to put another piece on here. So, and a little piece of lace, a little arrow with a brad, the three little critters, and a little tag. And the tag says Happy March because I want it, you know, because it is a monthly challenge I wanted March to be on there but I also put on the other side friends are the family we choose for ourselves because I think that's so true too and when I was looking online at artist trading cards um, you know a lot of times it says to pick your background or create your background then get an image then get some words to go with it and, and basically that's what you need to do you need to have a background an image and some words so if you're joining the challenge and you're making the kit those are the things you need to think about when you're making your kit and then embellishments so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this piece of lace and I'm going to glue it on there. Now when I put the washi tape in your kit, I'm not going to put it on the card because I want you to create your background however you want to. This I just used to poke a hole for the brad. And I'm going to put the brad in. I'm not going to put this in with the brad. It's going to be held in with a little piece of metal. Now this one was white and I just took an alcohol ink pen and colored it because I wanted it green. So this is just going to go in here like this. I'm going to open it up. And so this this will be able to slide in there and then you know I could turn it this way too if I wanted to okay and then I'm going to take this piece I'm going to put it on another piece of card this is a piece of green just green cardstock I just wanted it a little firmer and I wanted to hide this now a fun thing you can do too is like you can go and not put the glue all the way around. You could just put it along the edges and end up making it like a pocket so that you could put something else in there. And then you could have something that you would put in here that you could pull in and out too if you want it. Maybe we'll do that in another one where we have to create a pocket. 
Then I put the washi tape down here already. Then I'm just going to arrange my little critters. And like I said, in your kit, I've colored them. But I will put a set that's uncolored so that if you want to color your own. And I'm going to just glue those on. And I like to try to make my cards not so puffy, like I could use pop dots for this, but then they have trouble fitting in my pocket letter, my pocket page. I used Copic markers to color these with. It's been so gray and crazy weather here, like it's been all over the country. One day it's zero and the next day it's 40. It's just been nuts and it's been another gray day and I'm really looking forward to spring. And March just means spring is that much closer and all little critters are coming out. So, and then you just slip this in here like that and that's all there is to my artist trading card this month. I want to, you know, I really wanted to do one where I did some painting and stuff, but I'm not quite sure how to do that and put it in a kit. So, this is the card I made for March. It says Happy March, or I can take this and turn it around. Hello? Hello? So this is my card for March. Um, you're going to sign up on February 25th, from February 25th to March 5th, and then you have until the 25th to um, get your kits to me, and then I'll send the kits out. So the kit needs to have needs to be two and a half by three and a half. It needs to have a background, some kind of image some kind of word and some embellishments and my embellishments are the lace and the brad and pointer and the washi tape okay and then if you put an extra piece of card on the back to make it sturdier that would be good don't just use um, like scrapbook paper for the front because that won't be sturdy enough all right there you have it head on over to your paper pantry um, I limit it to 10 people, so and I'm one, so that's nine. So you will make 10, keep one, and send the rest to me. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.